Hi guys, this is Nikolai Poznikov again and today I want to show you a new app that I created called Email Collector. Um, email Collector is an application that will let you download emails from um, IMAP server. It'll work with Gmail, Yahoo, AOL or any other email server that uses um, IMAP. And let me show you how it works. Um, in step one we need to put our server name port name and select where the server uses SSL. We'll need a username and I'm going to use my Gmail account and we'll need a password. Once we enter that we can click on check connection and download folders and what this will do is it will retrieve a list of folders that exists on the server. Um, in the log window we'll see uh, various information about connection to the server, whether it has been established or if there are any errors so always keep an eye on that window. Now in step two we can go ahead and download um, choose which folders we want to download. So I'm going to download my important emails and my start emails. In step three I'm going to set my preference on how I would like my files to be named. So here I choose to have an email prefix I will start at number one, I will zero pad it to this number of digits, and I choose to save it in my C downloads folder. I can also choose to save attachments separate from emails. Um, this will create a separate file from the EML file that uh, application will save. This will help you examine attachments if you'd like, but if you're going to be processing data further with um, an e-discovery tool, I do not recommend using this option. Um, so now that I have selected my folder and my download options, I can either create a DAT file with just the basic metadata about my emails or I can download full emails. So first let me download a quick DAT file. I'm going to click on this and if I go to my download folder I will have my metadata DAT that contains um, basic information from 2CC um, and so on about the, email, about the emails. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to download full emails and I'll show you what that's like. This process takes a little bit longer um, but it actually saves the, the EML files in a folder. So if I open my Gmail folder, open my important emails, you see that all my EML files have been saved and they have been numbered in a schema that we chose. And if we go to the next folder, the numbering continues. Alright, and the metadata will contain all your basic metadata fields as well as email body, attachment names, and so on. So you could load this into your review tool and look at the data. Um, there will be no extracted text for attachments since this data hasn't been processed by uh, eDiscovery software yet. Alright, and let me show you the last option of how the data would look like if we were to split out emails and attachments. I'm going to click on that. Alright, and we see same folder structure and we see that the attachments uh, receive the next um, doc ID number and they've been saved as separate files. Alright, this is my email collector. Um, right now it's in the testing stage. Uh, go ahead and uh, request a serial number, try it out. Um, I definitely recommend you do a very thorough quality control on the downloaded data meaning make sure that number of messages you were expected to download did download. Um, the software is susceptible to network errors, server timeouts and so on, so if there are any issues with the server or something disconnects or crashes, emails could be missing, which uh, is true for any software that uh, does email downloading, so a thorough quality control is highly recommended. Alright, thank you for watching.